Hi, this is Tom with Equality Motors with a quick informational video. Um, what you see here is uh, the timing chains, guides, and tensioners that we just had removed from a 2011 Land Rover LR4. Um, that particular motor, the 5.0 uh, and the 3.0, are renowned for having timing chain issues. Uh, they stretch over time, but the culprit actually isn't necessarily the timing chain. Uh, the guides are made of aluminum and if you can see right here over time because of the tensioner this piston is made of steel it actually wears a hole into the guide so the tolerances become uh, the tolerances actually get off and we found that the driver's side bank was four degrees out of time because the chain was so loose but it was all actually caused or mostly caused by these time and chain guides and to be fair the tensioners are not very strong either I can push this one in pretty easy with my thumb and finger and then on the other side same problem but not quite as bad so um, just wanted to make this quick video to give you a heads up when you do uh, go ahead and replace the timing chains on that 5.0 liter um, make sure you get a a proper technician to do it it's a very complicated job make sure when you order the timing chain kit that it comes with all the tools uh, I, I bought mine on ebay for 294 dollars um, so you get the timing chains and the tensioners um, and some other stuff but you also get this tool kit which has the um, the camshaft lockers the camshaft adjuster if you need to use that that's an adjustment tool this little piece if I can take it out right here is to lock in the crankshaft which you have to take the crank sensor out for and the bell housing so it's a very complicated, very complex job. It takes about 20 hours to complete if you don't pull the motor. Now, if you want to do all three timing chains, because there's actually three, there's one at the bottom of the motor tool on the crankshaft. If you want to do all three chains, you're actually going to have to pull the motor to do it that way. But if you just want to replace these two, you can do it with the motor inside the vehicle. But like I said, get an expert technician to do that job for you. Thanks for tuning in.